Are you struggling with email outreach and finding it hard to get your emails read? Well, you're not alone. The flood of spam out there is making it very hard for everyone. Today, I wanna to show you a process of creating hyper-personalized email outreach. This is gonna be especially useful for marketers and SDRs, for sales reps and recruiters, for people who are doing fundraising. It's also gonna be useful for podcasters seeking guests. This process is gonna help you generate higher conversion rates, increased revenue, improved customer engagement, enhanced brand recognition, greater audience, reach higher email open and click-through rates and it's going to give you a competitive edge if you've struggled to use chat GPT for email outreach I can completely empathize I've had to spend many hours with chat GPT to build this streamlined process of creating great email copy this hyper personalized approach allows you to put the focus on the recipient of these emails in ways that were frankly not possible before AI I think you're gonna be shocked at how easy this is in many ways this next-gen approach to creating email outreach makes it easier to reach people the higher up they are. I've been a bit apprehensive to release this video as this is such powerful stuff, so please use this for good intentions only. If you're new to the Blazing Zebra channel, I want to welcome you and thank you for joining me on my mission of helping marketers and entrepreneurs around the world. My goal is to provide practical and actionable AI skills that increase your profitability and help you enjoy your day-to-day -day even more. If you're enjoying these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon where I've got tons of cheat sheets, custom GPTs, coaching options, and more. Okay, so here is the process we're going to be going through today. As you can see, this is a far cry from just asking ChatGPT to create a few emails for you. It starts with probably the most important part, which is researching your email recipient, whoever you're sending these emails to. We want to figure out what uh, their mission is, what they're all about, so that these emails can really apply to them. Then we're going to add your credibility and any marketing assets that you might want to be pointing them to. Next, we'll be adding a CTA and make sure the AI understands what you want this email recipient to do. Finally, we're going to start creating some drafts and tweaking those drafts so they are perfect. If this seems like a lot, please stay with me. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to automate all of this. This is the first prompt we want want to use and we want to use this in perplexity AI so we want to gather up any quotes anything that this email recipient may have been featured in the news or on social media as saying because this is going to be powerful things to add to the email to make sure that it showcases we understand who they are where they're coming from etc all you need to get started really is their name their title and probably you want to include their company as well so here we are in perplexity if you've never used perplexity before it is my go-to for anything related to searching the internet with ai I use it all day long i use it instead of google frankly for everything i have this prompt copied in here with a guy, Carl, that I am trying to do some outreach to. He speaks to a lot of different marketing professionals, and I think we could collaborate on some great content together. So let's see what this pulls up. Awesome, you can see it generating a bunch of quotes uh, that he's put out there on social media, etc. I'm going to hit this little clipboard and copy this into a Google Doc. It's going to title this email recipient quotes. If the person you're trying to do outreach to does not have any good quotes out there and perplexity says, hey, I didn't find anything, the next best bet I have found is just to take their about section from their LinkedIn page. Everybody's got a LinkedIn page and you can just grab that about section as a second best bet that'll also work well but i think that perplexity search starting it with that is the way to go because if you can find some stuff there these emails are going to be golden and as i mentioned earlier the higher profile the person is the better this process works so the higher the profile this person is they're more likely to be out there in the news quoted in press releases and on social media etc and you can really grab some good things if there are people that just really aren't there publishing anything that about section on linkedin is going to be the best way to go obviously if you want to do some of your own digging or you have access to other places they've been quoted that can be great as well next we want to gather up any assets you might have this can be marketing marketing materials, case studies, white papers, blog posts, videos, any sort of content you have out there, and then any sort of credibility about you or your company that'll really highlight why this person should engage with you. So here is my credibility and asset library, and I think I could do a whole video on this, but in short, you wanna just highlight some of your achievements and reasons why they might wanna engage with you, along with any notable content like I mentioned earlier. And then grab all this and put it in that same doc.
And now we just want to define our call to action. Typically, this is going to be book a call. Maybe it's a book a demo for your software. This could be a content collaboration if you're reaching out for a podcast guests, etc. Or it could be meeting in person. It could be kind of anything here. So you probably know what your call to action is, but it's very important that you let the AI know what you're trying to achieve with this email outreach. So I just put into this doc, the call to action for this email outreach is to join forces for a content collaboration. So here's one of the most important slides. This is a extensive prompt that took me many hours to pull together. Feel free to take a screenshot of this or jot it down, pause the video. And again, at the end of the video, I'll show you how to automate this so you don't have to do any of that. I'm simply gonna copy and paste that into ChatGPT. This is ChatGPT4, the paid version. And in that same prompt, I'm gonna copy and paste everything in here. You could also attach it as a, an attachment using this little paper clip. Let's see what we got. Pretty cool. See, it's already generating quotes based on the quotes that you found and links to the sources of where you found that. And it's pointing them to a podcast of mine and another video. Email two here. Really cool. I think these are pretty good. I'm actually going to copy and paste these into another Google Doc. So here these are in another Google Doc. I'll explain why I'm doing this a little later in the video. But next we want to move forward with this revision prompt. I found that these can improve the results quite a bit. Again, feel free to jot this down. Again, I'll show you a quick way to do all this at the end. So I'm going to drop this revision prompt in. And while that's generating the revisions, let me just walk you through this one. This asks to add a quote to the recipient, specifically in the subject line and in the first line. It also tones down any flattery, which I've noticed ChatGPT kind of goes over the top which I think is bad form if you're trying to establish a real relationship. And then I've asked it to remove some of these really common phrases that I see in a lot of spam emails. Like I just came across your LinkedIn and I understand you're incredibly busy. I highly recommend taking that out of your emails. It's just a red flag that you're not somebody that uh, anybody wants to engage with. And again, at the end of this, I put add a quote to the recipient in the subject line, if at all possible. So I started and ended with that because we really want to call out to them in that subject line more than anything else. As you know, the subject line is the most important part of the email. And if you can include their words specifically in the subject line, you've got a great, great chance of getting that opened and read. So here are the revised emails. Really cool. He's pulling his words right into the subject line and also leading the emails with quotes from him. So this is really leading off with the focus on the recipient highly 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 personalizing these emails without ai this would have taken a ton of time i'm going to copy all these and put them into that doc so there we go those are now in the doc we've got the first batch and the second batch now one more revision prompt going through this to balance the relevance and interest credibility establishment clarity and organization ease of decision making so letting them just say yes or no don't make them think too hard making it direct and concise. So let's see what this one more round of revisions brings. Okay, so you can see now we have really concise, to the point, bulleted lists of these emails. I don't necessarily think that these are better than the ones before. This is actually the first time it has generated bulleted lists like this. So you know you're always gonna get different results with ChatGPT. That's why I kept the other versions to make sure that we weren't losing anything here. So. I'm going to copy these into that other draft there, into the other Google Doc. So here these are. We now have three different versions of three different emails. The thing I'm missing most about these is that they don't link to any of my materials. So I'm going to say, these are a little too concise. Can you please rewrite them so they incorporate some of the copy and links from the first draft? These are pretty solid now. Another thing you can do is upload examples of your own emails that have worked well. Or once you've created something, like I think these look great, I might save these into to a document of examples for down the road. When I am at this step, I can say, hey, can you please rewrite them in this particular style? Add those to this doc. I think those are pretty strong. But now I'm really excited to show you a custom GPT that I built that does all of this process for you automatically. This is available to my Patreon supporters. And let me just show you how it works real quick. All you gotta do is click, let's begin. It asks, what is the name and title of the email recipient? I'm putting in here Drew McClellan, CEO of Agency Management Institute. 
This is someone that would make a lot of sense for me to reach out to as he works with so many different marketers. He happens to be a good friend of mine and it returns here the prompt. So we can just copy and paste this prompt right into perplexity. So I've generated all of these quotes here in perplexity, just copying and pasting that prompt in. Now I'm going to grab this. Copy that, I'm gonna copy these quotes in. It says, great, do you have any marketing assets you'd like to share with the recipient as part of this email outreach? If so, please copy and paste those with brief description. That's this knowledge base here that we built. Again, you only need to build that once. You can use it over and over. Copying that in. Now it's asking, what is the call to action? And with this one, I'm gonna say, I'd like to book a call with Drew. Behind the scenes, this has all of those massive prompts, so you don't need to worry about copying and pasting those in. Look at that, it's got a nice, very cool quote there with a hyperlink, really cool. Look at this, taking his exact words, matching them to what I do. It says, would you like to proceed refining these with more hyper-personalization? This will inject that second large prompt that I just showed you. It actually refreshes its own memory here so that it has all of these quotes top of mind. I found sometimes it was forgetting those quotes that were added at the very beginning. Looks like it is not putting the quotes in the subject line. So every time it's different, that's why you never know which draft, which revision is going to be the most powerful. Today it seems like it's been the first, but yesterday it seemed like it was the third. So. Just so you know, this is a bit of an art as well as a science. It might be cool to fine tune a process that evaluates all of the different drafts for the best one eventually. So I'm just steering it here saying, please make that final revision, but also make sure that the subject line includes a direct quote. Also make sure to include links. And there you go, you've now got three different drafts, three different emails. The last is very short and sweet. The first one is very verbose. So you can decide which of those is the best to send, but this bot will just generate those for you. All you need is that uh, title and name of the recipient along with your knowledge base of assets and credibility factors. So uh, again, you can keep working with these saying, hey, I want more links to my stuff or whatever it might be to continue to improve these. Or if you're an SDR who's just trying to get work done, you can assure that these are pretty good to go. You definitely want to give them a double check. Someone's got to read them before they go out to make sure that they actually represent you and represent the recipient well. But this should save you a ton of time and should uh, greatly improve the impact your email outreach is having. Thanks a ton for joining me on this video and on my mission of helping marketers and entrepreneurs around the world. Again, I love to provide practical and accurate actionable AI skills that help you enjoy your day to day a little bit more and build your profitability and overall success. If you got something out of this, please make sure to check out the Patreon. I've got cheat sheets. Again, I've got that custom GPT available to the Patreon supporters. I've got many other custom GPTs available. There's some one-on-one -on -one coaching options if you want to learn how to create these custom GPTs and tweak them to uh, be very specific to your use cases. I'd love to jump on a call and help you with that. And thanks for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you're working on and what videos I should be making next and I'll see you on the next video. Make your dreams come true.